If you're making any of these Facebook real mistakes, you're probably missing out on higher reach. There's a few things that you need to look out for. Are you using stock music or plain sounding background audio? Yes? Well, that could be hurting your engagement. And in this video, we're going to talk about that and four other Facebook real mistakes to avoid. So be sure to keep watching. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jelly from Life Marketing, and we are a digital marketing agency dedicated to helping small businesses grow. Just real quick, go ahead and like, subscribe, and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the business growing videos we put out every single week. Let's get real. Humans have a low attention span. So how do you get your viewers to keep watching your reels? Avoid these five Facebook reel mistakes. Number one, using too much text. The strength in video-based content comes from the fact that it takes minimal effort to consume. Add too much text into the mix and suddenly your audience will need to read through information and watching your reel will feel more like a chore than simply watching something informative and entertaining. If you do need wording for context in your video and find that it's more than one to two sentences, a voiceover is a great way to do this. You can create voiceovers with different voices with sites like voicebooking.com's free voice generator that you can then download and add into your reel. Mistake number two, prolonging the video. Basically, you need to get to the point. You don't want to prolong your video by adding unnecessary scenes and elements. Ask yourself if whatever you're adding to your reel is necessary or if it barely helps tell the message you need to convey. Maybe your intro scene is a few seconds too long, or perhaps your main message needs to appear sooner. Take factors like this into account when determining the length of your reel. Number three, you're not prioritizing movement. Always use videos and moving elements instead of still images and graphics. The eye is attracted to movement, and if you want to keep your viewers' attention throughout your reel, you better be using moving elements in your videos, prioritizing them over still images and graphics. If, however, you only have mostly still images to work with, add scene transitions and supplement movement with element animations. Now, it's important that you don't go over overboard either. Try to keep a balance in your reel. If you're already using transition effects in between different videos and or images, you're going to want to go for less dramatic animations for your text and other elements. Remember, you want to keep your viewers attention with balanced movement, but you don't want to overwhelm them with too many things going on in your reel either, confusing their eyes on where and what to focus on. Number four, you're not using original or trending audio. Forget about boring old stock music. Be sure you're using either your own original audio or use recently trending audio. Facebook rewards reels that have original audio with more organic reach. This doesn't mean you need audio mixing expertise though. Your audio could simply be your voice, a voiceover, the original sound of the main video in your reel, or any of the like. You could also go for trending audio. Just make sure that your chosen sound is in fact trending and isn't something that went viral a while back but has recently quieted down. Before we get to the last item on our list, if you want to have professionals handle all aspects of your business's digital marketing for you, including your stories, reels, and or TikTok videos, click the link in the description to get your free proposal today. And mistake number five, you're not paying attention to the overall composition quality of your reel. Look at your reel as a whole and see what you can improve. Some tweaks here and there will give your reel that much needed boost in quality that will only impress your viewers and keep their attention for longer. Some of these tweaks could be color correcting videos and images for a more crisp and clear output, making sure each scene of your reel plays in time with the beat of your chosen audio, double checking whether or not you're using enough or too much transition effects and animations in between scenes, and adjusting the volume between your background music and your voiceovers. So from your personal experience, what things have you tweaked in your Facebook Reels that have directly affected your engagement? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks to grow your business. Once again, this is Jelly from Life Marketing, and I'll catch you in the next one.